Book bans in Florida schools have been a highly controversial topic since Governor DeSantis signed the Stop Woke Act into law in April of last year. That law has resulted in a major overhaul of what sorts of materials are included in classrooms and libraries across the state. Yeah, we were just flipping through the pages of that bill. It bans instruction on race relations or diversity as it relates to privilege and the use of critical race theory in class instruction. And today, the Florida Education Association is holding their Great Florida Read-In and Book Giveaway, and they say the event highlights the value of giving our children the freedom to learn and celebrate diverse books and open minds. ABC 27's Candace Blake spoke with authors and educators. They say having diverse books in the classroom boils down to having representation through literature. Educators, authors, and education leaders gathered to discuss their love of reading and the importance of diverse reading materials. This comes after Governor Ron DeSantis announced book restrictions in the state of Florida, including books in the classroom. DeSantis earlier this month doubled down on limiting certain books in Florida schools, saying Florida is the education state, and that means providing students with a quality education free from sexualization and harmful materials that are not age appropriate. Education officials believe that decisions should be left up to teachers whether or not something is appropriate. Teachers have made that judgment call for over a century and they're going to continue to make that judgment call. And what's happening right now is a small group of individuals, often without any kids in the school system, are trying to keep books from our kids. That's not okay. Now teachers, parents, authors, and librarians are taking a stand and fighting for kids' rights to a multitude of diverse reading material. The Florida Education Association holding their Great Florida Read-In, giving away 25,000 free diverse books for all age groups. That's what we want to do. We want to instill excitement. We want to instill in kids the joy of reading because we know the more books kids have, the more they read, the more successful they're going to be in school and beyond. The event was also in conjunction with a press conference where speakers gathered to discuss just how books saved their life. In a fight of our lives because if someone took that book away, I would have never read Blubber by uh, Judy Bloom. And because of my fat shaming that, oh my gosh, I'm not the only one that's dealing with being bullied. One message Spar wants everyone to take away from the event is the thrill of reading. You can think back to a time when you were a kid and, and you cracked open that first book that you ever got. You know, it's exciting. It's, it's invigorating.